Uh, wow. <laughs> hey guys, so today I'm here with some big, big news on the jailbreaking front. Uh, so it does look like GeoHot is back, and coming back with him, he's bringing us all a new jailbreak. Uh, so, I, this was really surprising to me. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys know who GeoHot is. Uh, however, if you don't, I'll give you a quick little history lesson. Uh, GeoHot was one of the original people behind jailbreaking. Uh, he was the first person to unlock the iPhone. He came out with a couple other jailbreaks as well, including Black Rain. Um, however, he left the community just a few months ago because he was getting harassed. It was kind of a bad deal. However, it does look like he's back, and it does look like he's bringing us all a new jailbreak, Lime Rain. Uh, so guys, basically the way that Lime Rain, what, what it's all about, is that it looks to be a, a jailbreak for most, if not all, devices. And now do keep in mind, we don't have any solid, concrete information. He's not really saying anything right now. Basically, he's just giving us a little bit of, you know, a little teaser about what's going on. Uh, but from what I've heard, and I've got some pretty good sources who've been telling me this, so I, I, I feel pretty confident in, you know, re relaying it all to you guys. Um, but basically, what it seems like is that GeoHop will be announcing, and re or not announcing, but he will be releasing his new Lime Rain Jailbreak on Monday. Uh, so if you guys have been following Jailbreaking lately, which, if you have, props to you, because it's, it's getting crazy complicated. Uh, but if you guys have been following Jailbreaking, you will know that the new Green Poison Jailbreak, which will be coming out Sunday, is, well, of course, coming out on Sunday, the day before Lime Rain. Uh, so obviously, we've been hearing about Green Poison for quite a while. The, uh, both the Chronic and iPhone dev teams have been working for a very long time getting it all set up, and it's finally going to be launching on Sunday. However, this changes a lot of things now that GeoHot is going to be releasing his own jailbreak just the day after. Uh, now, I'm not going to get into this. I guarantee you guys this is going to cause a lot of, you know, uh, you know, flame wars and all that kind of stuff. But let me just go ahead and tell you guys in practical terms what it means to you. Uh, so the first thing is that there will be two choices for jailbreaks. Now, of course, Green Poison is only for the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 4th generation, as well as the iPad. However, it looks like GeoHot's jailbreak is for at least those three devices, in addition to the iPhone 3GS. Uh, now, it very well, I would not be surprised whatsoever if it is available for the iPod Touch 3rd generation and some other devices. However, we do know that it should be at least compatible with the 3GS and most likely with all devices. Uh, so, of course, this is big news as, like I just said, Green Poison will not jailbreak the iPhone 3GS or the iPod Touch 3rd generation, which currently really don't have any easy jailbreak. Uh, so, uh, really that's about it. We don't know if it's a tethered or it's untethered, anything like that. Um, personally, I'm not really actually all that excited about this, to be honest. Uh, it seems just, it just doesn't seem very smart to me to go ahead and waste two exploits on 4.1, which that's firmware, I mean, it's going to be replaced, 4.2 is just coming out in a few weeks, so or the jailbreak teams, both GeoHot as well as the iPhone slash chronic dev teams, spend all this time, all this energy on these jailbreaks, which are going to get patched in just a couple of weeks. However, guys, this is a perfect time to tell you, please, 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 please back up your iPhone, uh, or rather your SHSH blobs on 4.1. Absolutely is imperative because these jailbreaks, this is going to be looking like the best firmware to jailbreak in a very long time because pretty much every device, everything will be supported. So I highly, highly recommend to go ahead, I actually will have an annotation on the screen right now, to go ahead, click on that and follow my, uh, just it's a very simple tutorial, you don't even need to be jailbroken, to go ahead and back up your SHSH blobs now. Uh, just, it just uses, it uses Tiny Umbrella, um, so all it does is basically allows you to come back to 4.1 so that you'll always be able to jailbreak with all these different jailbreaks, no problem. Uh, so guys, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys this big, big update. Uh, I'm sure, of course, I will cover Sunday, Green Poison, as well as Lime Rain on Monday, and, you know, I'll, 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 ha I'll handle whatever new jailbreaks come out on Tuesday, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, guys, so just wanted to keep you guys updated. Big news, GeoHot is back. Uh, now, a lot of people aren't 100% sure, but uh, I have heard from a very reliable source, in my opinion, that he is back, it is him, and Lime Rain is legit. So, guys, definitely great news. And again, uh, no matter what device you have, just go ahead and stay tuned to the channel. Sunday, again, I just want to say this as many times as possible. Sunday, Green Poison, I will have the full jailbreak tutorial on Sunday morning. And then Monday, whatever time GeoHot decides to do Lime Rain, I will go ahead and do the tutorial for that. So no matter what device you have, as long as you're on 4.1, which there really is no reason why you shouldn't now, uh, 
um, I will go ahead and show you guys how to jailbreak. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.